And more on the breaking news out of the State House tonight. Governor Gina Raimondo wasting no time as the 2016 General Assembly session gets underway. As we reported at 5 and 6, she revealed to lawmakers where the highway truck tolls may be located if her plan passes. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russom is live at the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. The governor emailed her plan just minutes after the Speaker of the House mentioned it in his speech. One of two key issues he'll be working on in this upcoming session. The echo of the Speaker's gavel starts another session for the Rhode Island House of Representatives. Much more work to do in 2016. Speaker Mattiello says two key issues in this session will focus on improving roads and bridges as well as investing in education. Speaker Mattiello says a formal proposal to toll trucks on the state's highways to pay for repairs to roads and bridges is a week or two away. We'll discuss, you know, the, the good aspects of it, the, the negative aspects of it, and uh, at the end of the day, after we've considered all the facts, we'll move forward as best for our citizens. On education, the speaker says he will look at a funding formula to support programs putting students on the track for success. You have to respect the environment that we're sending our children to if we want our children to respect the value of education. One topic the speaker failed to mention at the podium was the issue of whether or not illegal immigrants in the state State should get driver's licenses. If a bill is introduced, we'll have a public discourse, we'll take testimony in committee, and we'll see where the issue goes. I suspect the identification cards, I mean the driver's licenses for illegal aliens, I suspect they probably won't go anywhere. Uh, I, like I said, I want to see the tolls stopped. I do want to see money found in the budget for bridge repairs. We do need that. And during the session, protesters could be heard yelling from the atrium, we want driver's licenses now in Spanish. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.